What's up, guys? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and day one of SHOT Show, I guess officially is tomorrow, because today was media day at the range, so it's kind of like a pre-day before the event on the uh, convention floor kicks off. So I want to put this short video together just to tell you about kind of what SHOT Show is like, and uh, here's my plan for the next handful of days. We will be interviewing a bunch of different companies and getting you some details on new gear from them and things that they're going to be putting out. Um, we'll also be, uh, I'll be talking about some of the gear that I have. Um, Anchor, who you probably know they offer uh, really quality products when it comes to um, options for recharging your gear, your phone, cameras, things like that. So Anchor and LA Police Gear came on board to help support me for this, uh, this trip to SHOT Show. So I'm going to be talking about some of their gear and how it's working for me uh, in the next handful of days as well. But what I want to do today is give you kind of a big picture of SHOT Show media day at the range, and then also talk about some of the products that I got today. And some of it I'll be reviewing, and others are I got for giveaways for uh, Everyday Tactical Vids viewers. So um, I guess the first thing we'll start off is you get up in the morning, and a lot of you guys know the last uh, couple of years, my buddy David from Ultimate Survival Tips and I, we've been rooming together. And uh, put a link down below in the description to his, uh, his YouTube channel, great content over there. So we, uh, we got up in the morning, we headed over to, we just basically grabbed some breakfast, headed over to the Sands Convention Center, got on a coach bus. It's about a 45 minute drive out to Boulder City, which is outside Las Vegas, and you go to the range there. And you'll see the, the footage that I'll roll in here, but it's just a ton of companies that are um, basically letting you test out their gear as far as uh, rifles and shotguns and pistols and stuff. And I mean, it's a huge array. So you've got just to list some Colt, Beretta, Smith & Wesson, uh, Barrett was there. Uh, let me just try to think of some of the others. Daniel Defense was there. There's just, I mean, there's just a ton of different companies. There's also some gear companies who come out there who want to basically get you to see their gear prior to actually what's going to be on the uh, on the show floor. So yeah, it was you know just there's tons of opportunity to get out there and test out different uh, different rifles, different weapons, shoot at the range. You don't get to shoot for 40 minutes using one weapon. You know you got to kind of pick one, test it out, maybe talk to somebody, shoot an interview, and then you know go to another go to another booth. So for me, uh, because firearms is not my main focus when it comes to everyday tactical vids, I, um, I basically just helped David shoot a lot of video together for his, uh, um, for his uh, website or his YouTube channel, I should say. And then I was just interested in a lot of the different gear companies and what they're, uh, what they're carrying. So at the end, David and I talked to First Tactical, and uh, they're putting out bags, tactical gear, pants, belts, all kinds of stuff. Very cool gear, and um, hopefully we'll get some reviews of their gear in the future, but they did... Uh, give me this knife. This is the Viper. Just a quick look at it right here. It's going to run about 30 bucks. Aus 8 steel. Nice, nicest compact little knife. If you look at this knife, you may recognize it. It looks pretty similar to the 511 Min Pin. And uh, a lot of the guys from 511 uh, who used to work there are now working with First Spear. So, uh, or sorry, not First Spear, First Tactical, because there's a First Spear Tactical company out there, but this is First Tactical. So, a cool little knife, and we'll be at uh, EDC in this and checking it out in the future. Let me show you some of the other things I got. Um, first, for giveaways, got a bunch of hats. Here's one from uh, DP12, which is the double barreled shotgun that I shot a video of last shot show, so 2015. And they had a huge setup. I mean, they had a, they basically had a tent, they, it was heated, they had sandwiches there, they had like cheese and crackers it was just all done up so got a um got a cool hat so we'll be using that for a giveaway there's a shot show hat we'll be giving away one for the ladies we'll be giving away um let's see we i went to mechanics they had their gloves were available there and so i talked to the, the uh the guy about some of their gear he gave me a pair of these originals in their new wolf gray so nice really nice gloves i mean i love mechanics gloves they're kind of a go-to for me and I keep a pair in my car, I keep a pair in my bushcraft bag, so these are, uh, I'll just get these in the light a little bit, there you go, in that wolf gray, so that's really, uh, I like these a lot, just cool, good, good quality gloves. Now, ironically, pretty much like right across the, the, um, the way from Mechanics was a company called Ironclad, and they also make gloves, and they hooked me up with a pair, these are green, these are tactical operator grip gloves, and they toss in a free flashlight just for kicks, but I talked to the guy there for a bit, and, uh, Really, really insightful the way they think about making gloves and 
So we're going to hopefully get over to see them at the, uh, at the show and shoot, a, uh, shoot an interview over there to kind of talk about some of the gloves and different things that they, um, I guess basically different thoughts that they have as they build their gloves. Their gloves go from about, I think, 19 bucks or 15 bucks up to about 30 bucks. And they're really competing with, uh, with mechanics. But, you know, these are, I just want to offer you some new opportunities to think about different gloves and different products out there. Got a guy who gave the extreme cleaning system for your weapons, just came over and literally tossed one of these at, uh, at me and my buddy David. So that's something hopefully we'll use in the future. SOG had their, uh, their throwing, their tomahawk and knife throwing booth, which was cool. And then they, uh, they have these little SOG band-aids. And it's hard to see on camera. I'll see if I can get a little B-roll footage in here. But on the uh, on the bandaid, it's a, on the band it says "Sog was here." Let's see if you can see that. It says "Sog was here." So when you cut yourself with one of their knives, you can put a Sog bandaid on it. Just kind of a cool little marketing thing that they were doing. They did also hook me up with a cool shirt. Just to show you what that looks like. So it's basically a, a rifle that's been made out of the silhouettes of knives. It's a cool little cool little product. They did have a couple of knives. I actually posted a picture, I think, on either my Instagram page or my Facebook page, so you can check that out um, as well. 511, this is kind of funny. 511 was giving away these little things of hand sanitizer, which is really smart because people want to use hand sanitizer doing SHOT Show. But uh, at first, I guess they, didn't, they weren't sure what they were, so people were thinking that they were um, it was sunscreen because we were out in the desert at the range. So just imagine rubbing sunscreen or uh, hand sanitizer all over your face when you think it's sunscreen. That would be pretty painful. Couple other things, got some key change from, uh, I think, I don't know if people call it Voltor or VLTOR, but they make AR stocks and other, other uh, gear out there. I think they actually make some rifles as well, maybe. But and I grabbed a couple of these media day at the range, and these are just little backpacks that I'll be using for, for giveaway prizes. So overall, media day at the range was it was cool. It's um it's a lot of walking. You we basically got there at ten and we left at five and you're on your feet pretty much the whole day. Brief stop for lunch. You know um, they have little like canteen trucks out there. So yeah, I mean it was cool. It was cool. I'm I'm much more into the, a lot of the gear that we're gonna see during the actual show at the on the convention floor. But it's cool to get out there. It is it is loud. You got earplugs in or you know sort of some sort of ear pro in all day just because it is there's people shooting weapons all day long. They do have a handful of pretty cool, pretty cool weapons. We actually shot a, um, I forget what it was called, maybe M32, I think it was, uh, and it's a grenade launcher, and they let you shoot basically chalk grenades out of it. So that was one of the items, and then uh, you can shoot a couple full auto weapons to actually see what that is like, which is pretty interesting. Talk to the guy about the difference between a muzzle brake versus a flash hider, how it controls the rise of your uh, of your barrel and different things. And uh, I'm trying to think who we saw. So I saw uh, some of the crew from ITS Tactical. We bumped into Hickok 45 out there as well. And his son, and his son is, his, he's really tall, but his son is even taller than him. And his son, I think he said is 6'8". They're just like very big dudes. We saw a bunch of other people. And I'm always kind of like staring at people as I walk by to be like, do I know the person from YouTube? Have I seen them? You know, do they run an outdoors company or a survival website or something like that? Uh, when we were leaving the Sands Plaza and actually taking some footage of Vegas, Marty from Budget Bug Out was just like walked up, was right behind us. And so David, Marty, and I went out, got dinner together, just kind of talked and chatted and hung out. And then uh, back here, current time is 8.09 uh, p.m. And we are basically back here unloading our gear. I'll show you what a mess the room looks like, but that's all right. We're just cleaning up gear. We're going to start shooting some or editing some video and then over to SHOT Show early tomorrow morning to uh, get out on the floor and start shooting video and learning about new products, right? So thanks for checking out this video, and uh, more stuff coming soon. Take care.